let's talk about habits or more specifically bad habits because they're way more interesting than good habits and chances are if you got yourself into a position where your weight has let's say gotten out of control or has exacerbated more than you would like it to then chances are you've got some bad habits and bad habits are a pain in the ass because it's ritual autonomous behaviors that you tend to do which has led you down the road of consuming too many calories ergo you've gained weight so what we're going to do is using this lovely letter from southern electric which says that i owe me 36 quid which is always good i am going to create a bad habit so here is you and i'm going to fold this piece of paper there is your bad habit now, what we can do through behaviours, through monitoring your nutrition, through being more mindful, through careful uh, tools along the road of your journey, we can instill good habits and help override those behaviours by doing things like becoming more mindful of what you're eating, making better choices, and little exercises you can do day to day. But what you need to recognise about a bad habit is if I try and remove the fold from this piece of paper, so I'll fold it back the other way, no matter what happens, it's always there, no matter how subtle, you see? So what you need to recognize by using this lovely analogy is that no matter what you do going forwards, that bad habit will always be there, be it subtly, but you can never truly remove a bad habit. The wolf is always scratching at the door, as they say. So don't go into your transformation journey thinking that you can overwrite bad habits and that they're never gonna be there again and that little gremlin or demon on your shoulder isn't gonna whisper to you every now and then to do what you used to do, the thing that got you to the position that you got to. Recognize that you can overwrite with good habits, but you're not gonna completely remove the bad habit. Okay? You're not going to completely undo it, it's always going to be there. And too many people go into transformations thinking this, that they're going to become a completely new person and that they're going to be nothing like the person they were before. And while that is true 99% of the time, there is still that 1% of the old you left behind. And as I said, the wolf is always scratching at the door. You need to recognise that it will be very easy for you to slip back into old habits because they're things you used to do and they're things you used to do autonomously. And therefore, as good as your new habits become and as autonomous as your new habits become, don't get complacent. Recognize that you are only one step away from slipping back towards your old habits and recognize that it's gonna be a lifetime worth of work and mindfulness to keep yourself away from the person that you used to be. But you decide which voice is louder, the voice of your new habits or the voice of your old ones. Thank you.